Well, it's, uh, it's pretty well documented. Uh, I've never uh, met uh, Bigfoot, never met the Easter Bunny, but uh, I met some leprechauns this weekend. And uh, you might think they're cute, they ain't cute. They're nasty little devils. They're dancing around to that Notre Dame fight song, pointing at you. Um, nope, I uh, still need to uh, meet uh, Bigfoot and the Easter Bunny, but uh, got leprechauns in the rearview mirror. If I don't see another leprechaun the rest of my life, it'll be too soon. Um, questions? I don't even know where to go from there. Uh, Coach, just looking back at the film a couple of days later, what did you like about the weekend? What do you take from the weekend? And, and kind of how do you build on that heading into this weekend's games? Um, that's what we're working on right now. Um, no, it's a, that's the question. Uh, with our team, we've got, uh, there's still more questions and answers. But with our group right now, um, in all sincerity, um, we knew what we were getting into. Um, we, we went into a South Bend playing against an experienced Notre Dame team, uh, one of the finest, one of the, one of the most well-coached teams in college hockey. Jeff Jackson and I go back, uh, uh, are coaching against each other in junior hockey in, in, in the mid-'80s, and uh, uh, he's a fantastic coach and uh, even a better guy. His teams are always prepared. They're always tough to play against. They don't beat themselves. Um, they're a veteran team. They're strong in the puck. They're loaded with, uh, um, with players' uh, NHL draft choices. All their players are basically from the – national development program or the ushl um like we knew that in in regards to uh bcs and power five uh they're all of that and more um us going in there with more questions and answers we have an inexperienced lineup uh uh, inexperienced goaltending. We don't have a senior in goal. We don't have a senior on defense. Uh, we do have some seniors on the four uh, on the forward lines, but they've never played in um, really in, in impact roles. They haven't had a lot of power play time, that type of thing. So anyway, going into it, with all that said, uh, we, it started out pretty good. And uh, uh, you know, I think we snuck up on them a little bit. Uh, they knew on paper that uh, the, the series was a, a bit of a mismatch, uh, but our guys, uh, our guys compete. Our guys try. Hard. That's what academy kids do. Uh, we're not easy to play against, and uh, uh, we went in and uh, uh, jumped off to a two to nothing lead. Um, uh, they came back, which they fought back, which we knew they would, and, and uh, tied the game in the second. And uh, and then in the third period, a good third period, they scored a goal and uh, got an empty netter. We got a, a, a goalie pull goal at the end and and, uh, and and won the game four to three. It was a good hockey game. It was on TV. A lot of people uh, saw it. Um, you know, it was the second best or maybe third best uh, thing that could have happened. The first best would have been to find a way to win. The second best would have been a way to find a way to tie. Uh, the third was, you know, just to, to give them everything we got, just to prove that we can play with, uh, that we can compete with teams at that level. Um, we came back on Sunday, and uh, they, were, they were ready for us. And they came out in the first period and pushed hard. And uh, we hung in there. We got a couple breaks. We got a couple saves. They could have put us away early. They didn't. Uh, they got one goal. Uh, we, we tied the game before the end of the period, and, and we were feeling pretty good about things. Second period, we went out. Uh, again, they ended up getting a goal, going ahead 2-1. to one. So here we are after five periods, and, and uh, we've been in every period throughout the, uh, throughout the series. Um, but uh, they're a big, strong team, and uh, – uh, they had the puck the majority of the time. We were chasing it around. Uh, they got a power play uh, early in the third period. They capitalized on that. We seemed to lose steam after that. And uh, to be honest with you, they took us to the woodshed in that third period. And it doesn't feel very good. Uh, uh, it doesn't feel very good. And, uh, um, you know, that, that, you know, right in there, that, that's where things lie right now. We, you know, where do we go from here, um, you know, with our young group? Um, still more questions and answers. Um, is our goaltending good enough? I don't know. You know, it was on, it showed showed some signs of being good enough over the weekend. Um, are, are we going to be able to score enough goals? We had a trouble scoring goals. I don't know. Um, we scored a, a couple, a few goals on the weekend. Is it going to be enough? Uh, those are things at this point that we really can't control. Um, what we need to do, like we are starting out, I talked about climbing the mountain, and uh, we've climbed the mountain many times. Uh, we've got nine championships. We've climbed that mountain many times. and uh, But a lot of the years we've climbed it, you know, with what we had coming back, we were a third of the way or halfway or two-thirds of the way up to the mountain by the time we started to climb it in that given season. You know, with what we have now, we're starting at the bottom, and it's a long ascent. Uh, Notre Dame being ranked uh, eighth in the country, um, you know, they're already – right up there you know uh 
as the season goes on, they're just going to become a more uh, uh, a better polished uh, form of what they are right now. But uh, you know, they're they're a veteran, experienced group right now. I think there's a lot of upside with our group. Where do we go? Um, to me, right now, it's not about winning and losing. Um, it, it's about competing. It's about being difficult to play against. Um, it's about not beating yourself, and I think those are the two areas that that those are the two areas that we're going to concentrate on this week. Is you know uh, we turn some pucks over, we can control that. Um, I thought we could have been a little nastier to play against. We need to have some sandpaper in our game. We need to shut people down at times when they're trying to get down the wall on us. Um, we need to finish a check when the opportunity presents itself. We can't be easy to play against. So you know, um, not beating ourselves. And being a little bit more difficult, being more difficult to play against, are two things that we're going to concentrate on this week. Um, the first period against Arizona State, and I know they're going to be listening to this, but I mean, hey, we got beat uh, four to one, uh, four to nothing in that third period uh, uh, on Sunday afternoon. And uh, I don't know if there's going to be a bigger first period for us the rest of the season than there's going to be that first period here. On Friday night, where do we go? We got taken to the woodshed in that third period, no question about it, and it didn't feel very good. Well, what are we going to do about it? And uh, we need to answer, and uh, we need to answer with things that we can control. We can control our effort level. We can control our attitude. Um, we can manage the puck better. We can be more difficult to play against. And if we are, if we manage the puck better and we're tougher to play against um, this coming weekend, that's that's the step that this group needs to take right now. I think. Coach, with a young team, how do you instill that intensity of understanding they need to come out firing in that first period on Friday? Well, I think the biggest thing right now, it, like with them, like they're eager, young kids, like our we're academy kids are, are, are type A, uh, they're, de they're determined, they're eager, they, like they want to get after things. They're, they're spirited kids by, by nature, academy kids. And um, the biggest thing is, is, is we can't let what happened in the third period demoralize us or, or get us where we're feeling sorry for ourselves because ain't nobody going to feel sorry for us. Like, you know, what are we going to do about it? Uh, uh, we want some respect. Yeah, we want some respect. To get some respect, you're going to have to go earn it. So I think the biggest thing with them is, you know, hey, don't worry. I, I don't want you worrying about failing. Uh, winning and losing right now, it's not about winning and losing. It's about the process. You know, uh, when Arizona State leaves here, regardless of what the wins and losses are on the weekend, uh, we want Arizona State leaving here going, you know what, I'm glad we don't have to play them again. And, and okay, how do we accomplish that? Well, we accomplish that by when that puck drops, it's a street fight and we come out swinging. And, uh, and you know what? We, for the most part, uh, when that puck dropped against Notre Dame, we, were, we fought, we fought, we fought. And like I said, it wasn't uh, the very end leaves a bitter taste in my mouth because that, that, that game got away from us in the, in the third period of the second, uh, of the second uh, night. But uh, again, we played. They are a really, really good team. And, uh, and, you know, just hanging with somebody ain't good enough. But, you know, if you don't, don't think for one minute. That, that we haven't beaten teams like that before. You know, we've beaten Michigan. We've beaten Boston College. We've beaten St. Cloud. Um, we've beaten uh, Western Michigan. Like, you, you go, go on and on and on. We, like, do, we've beaten Denver. We've beaten Colorado College. And, uh, you know, so... Uh, how do we do it? We didn't do it because we have more NHL draft choices. We didn't have it because we had more talent. We, we, we had it because we had, we had more will, more desire, and we, and we had great habits uh, collectively uh, as, a, as a group, of, every group of five that we put on the ice. Specifics time. Um, <laughs> Blake Bride, uh, first assist, and he drew at least three penalties from my count. Um, was that a good showing from that particular freshman this weekend? Yeah, Blake Bride is a—he's going to be a really good player for us. Uh, you know, he's. Um, um, he's he's a little light right now. He's not very. He's a slight built kid, but he's got he's got great legs and um, he's got courage. He's got a good skill level. Um, you know, he's a guy that started out uh, as a high school hockey player in Colorado. wasn't really a triple A player. Went from um, high school hockey um, to tier three hockey, which is the lowest level of of junior hockey. Went from tier three hockey to the North American League, which we think it's our primary league is is the second best league in junior hockey. Went from the North American League to the USHL and ended up being the captain of the team that won the Anderson Cup championship in 
the USHL. So here's a kid that worked his way up from being a high school hockey player. Um, ain't many high school hockey players playing Division One college hockey. High school hockey to Tier 3. Uh, to uh, the North American League, to the highest level, USHL, not just getting there and being a support player, but the captain of a, of a championship team. That was coached by our own Scotty Owens, uh, the former CC coach. So uh, Blake Bride's a kid that uh, has just uh, uh, you know, uh, proven everybody uh, wrong along the st every step of the way, and uh, I think you're going you're gonna to see him continue to make steps as a player uh, uh, throughout his career here. Great observation by you. Thanks. And, um, and, and somebody else, uh, Max Harper, seems like a great guy. He's been injury-ridden two years, and he finally scores his first goal. Was that good to see? You know what? Max struggled a little bit the first night. We were a little worried about him on the first night. The second night, uh, we were going to watch him closely because we had uh, uh, Ty Pachapinski was our 13th forward, and we said, well, if Max struggles, we can always throw Ty in there. We dressed an extra forward. Max came out and played so well on Sunday um, that uh, uh, I, I mixed Ty Pachapinski in for different guys just to get him some, some ice because he's going to be a good player for us as well. And, uh, but I never uh, substituted him once for Max because Max would, uh, played so well on on. Uh, on, on Sunday. Uh, an interesting uh, sidebar on Max, of course, Max missed uh, most of his freshman and sophomore seasons um, with, uh, with, gro with leg injuries, groin injuries. He had to have a special surgery to, to, to help save his career, and it was a surgery that could either have, have ended his career or prolonged it, and, and, and thank, thankfully the, uh, the surgery was successful, and, and uh, he hasn't had any, any problems with it up to this point. But Max Harper is a, is a junior, and um, but really, like for us, he's like a second semester freshman because he just ha he hasn't played a lot. He hasn't had a lot of reps, but he's a big body. He can skate. He's got a good feel for the game. And again, another very uh, good observation by you. He was uh, he, not just because he had our only goal on Sunday, but uh, he was good in all three zones on Sunday. I, uh, we felt as well. You know, we need to get you as a volunteer on our staff. You got a good eyeballs. Oh dear. Yeah. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then lastly, Arizona State. Well. Well, not surprisingly, they played the number two team in the country twice, but they're one and three, but they're, a lot was expected of them. Are they your average one and three team right now? Well, college hockey, just there's no dogs in college hockey. And Mercyhurst, like I, I talked about us being in our league, there's 11 teams in our league of returning goals. We're 10th out of 11. Well, the 11th team, last place team of returning goals was Mercyhurst. What Mercyhurst do? They go into Arizona State, beat them the first night three to one, knock them out of, and knock them out of the top twenty. End up splitting the series, you know. So, you know, you just can't let your guard down. You know, like for us, you know, you can say, you know, God, Frank, what are you going in? What are you playing, Notre Dame? Why would you want to go in, take your young group in there, play number eight in the country? Like, wouldn't you, well, who else are you gonna you you who else are you gonna play? You can go play whoever you think is gonna be. 57th, uh, 56th in the in the pairwise, and 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 they can beat you just as easy as Notre Dame can beat you, and um, so we're just we're going like I'm just going like hey let's find out where we sit on the food chain, and I told the boys after the game the Notre Dame game I'm going like okay that's what it looks like you know. Can we get better? we got a whole season to get better. We don't have to play. We're going to play really good teams. We're not going to play a team that's better than that team all season. And, uh, and if we end up uh, coming through and finding a way to win this league, you know, we'll face somebody like that in the national tournament. And you know what? If we do, we'll know what it looks like. And we'll know what it looks like because we saw it this weekend. And um, so, you know, in terms of playing Arizona State, uh, uh, Arizona State's a good team. And, uh, you know, they are – yeah, to, uh, I think what you just said, uh, uh, they're one and three, but they lost, uh, uh, they split with Mercyhurst, okay, whatever, that, whatever. But they go into Mankato, and Mike Hastings, my former player, one of my former players, and uh, he's a hell of a coach and, uh, and a hell of an operator. Uh, Mankato is like AIC, AIC in our league. They brought back just about everybody from their NCAA tournament team. They, they graduated, really, I think they graduated one guy. I mean, uh, so Minnesota State Mankato is a team like they could win the national championship. They've got enough to win the national championship. And so for Arizona State to go into Mankato, that's a, that, that's a tall order. That's tough. And, um, uh, but uh, they are going to be a good team. There's a reason that they were ranked in the top 20 coming into this season. Uh, they made the NCAA tournament last year um, as an independent. And um, uh, that's not easy to do. 
Uh, they've got the majority of their team back, and uh, you know, it, like it, it, it it's going to be a tough series. I, they are going to be good, and um, and uh, they're not going to be in a real pleasant mood uh, being three and one. Um, there, there's. Uh, I'm sure their expectations uh, were much higher than that, than at this point in time being three and one. So uh, I, I expect them to come in here uh, in a real foul mood, in a real foul mood, yeah. Just to ask you uh, about this weekend, the opportunity to skate in your own barn, be at home again, obviously with a, with a pro Air Force crowd. How important is that? And is that always kind of a nice confidence booster for your team? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's always good, good to come home. We'll play at, uh, at 7,000 feet, and, uh, you know, we're looking forward to it. But the bottom line is um, we have two great uh, non-conference opponents that we start the season off with. We go to, into Notre Dame, and, and trust me, everything except for the games was a wonderful experience. Uh, Notre Dame's a real special place. Uh, they had a football game against USC. Um, our players attended that game for the first half. And, uh, uh, you know, the, the people in, in Notre Dame, uh, the fans, uh, their administration, uh, uh, the the. Uh, they, they, they couldn't have been uh, nicer to us, uh, more accommodating. Uh, so all that was a great experience. And we, and we found out, we, we got to see first up, and clo up, up, up front and close what a, what a top 10 uh, team in, N in NCAA hockey looks like. And, uh, you know, now we come home, we play Arizona State. And I'll keep in mind, too, next year uh, we uh, open the season here against Notre Dame. We've got them in our building to open, and then we're going to go to Arizona State um, after Christmas, around New Year's, for for a tournament there. So um, we've got some really good non-conference stuff going. We've got CC that we're playing this year twice. Next year we're going to play Denver twice to add to Arizona State um, and Notre Dame. Um, I'm close to cutting some deals with uh, uh, a couple other Big Ten teams for down the road. So. Um, these are games that we need to play. We need to play them for, uh, for our fans. We need, to play them, we need to play them for our players. Our fans want to see them. Our players want to play them. Uh, we owe it to our fans, especially our season ticket holders. No regrets in going to Notre Dame this weekend, none, none whatsoever. Uh, we've got Arizona State come in. And, uh, yeah, we want to find a way to win. Like we want, hey, we want to. We, that's what we. That's what I do this for. I like to. We play to win, and uh, it, we don't. It ain't fly, fight, tie. It, it fly, fight, lose. It ain't. It's fly, fight, win. We play to win, uh, but but before we can win, we've got to be tougher to play against, and we first have to learn how not to beat ourselves. That's the step we need to take this weekend um, as a group. If we do that, uh, we'll give ourselves a chance uh, to win those games.